First, it was reported as a suicide, but tonight court documents say a woman found hanging in her garage in St. Pete was murdered. As Fox 13's Kaylee Tracy reports, police say the person of interest is the one who reported her death as a suicide. That will no longer be his punching bag or the source of his angst. He must find somewhere else to go. I'm done too. That's the last text Johanna Monaghan says she got from her friend, Katrin Simpson, on January 28th. According to an affidavit for a search warrant, first responders found 59-year-old Katrin Simpson hanging by a black wire attached to a wooden beam in the garage of the St. Pete home she shared with her boyfriend, 48-year-old Gregory Shin, last week. She's a very creative person. We both studied fine arts and uh, just really nice. She thought the best of people and you know, very talented and just, it's just so sad. Court documents say Shin had a neighbor call 911 because he didn't have a phone and Simpson's death was reported as a suicide. The medical examiner says her injuries, though, don't match up with this claim. Court documents say Simpson's injuries included multiple fractured ribs, hemorrhages on the bottom of her brain, a contusion on her forehead, and cuts, among other injuries. But there's too many emotions. I can't even, you know, pinpoint it. Police have not named Shin as a suspect. The affidavit for the search warrant says he was arrested two other times for domestic violence charges against Simpson. Monaghan says she and Simpson's other friends offered for her to stay with them, and she has a message for people who may be suffering silently. If you're in a similar situation, just try to get out. Confide in friends and family and tell them what's going on, and, you know, there's help out there. Kaylee Tracy, Fox 13 News. And during a search of the home last week, police seized two spools of black electrical wire, a doorbell camera, and pliers, among other things.